Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today's video is about the free transform tool, which is in your pick tool. And I've never done a video on it, I don't think, because I don't really like it that much. I've never, I've used it a little bit. But there are four there's the rotation, the angle, the scale, and the skew. Now, you can do any of this stuff in the transformation docker, but when you have this picked, you can rotate from whatever spot you want. You know, you can rotate from the center or whatever you want to do. You can angle it from whatever spot you want, which is kind of like rotate, but it's angling from that one spot. It's kind of locked in there. You could angle it from the center. It's wherever your cursor is set. You could scale it from wherever you're at. If you scale it from, you know, an angle, you get an angle. If you scale it from the center, I wouldn't want scale. You could scale it. This is pretty cool. This is when I do use it, I've used it. So if you go from there, you, it goes the opposite way. If you go from there, it goes the, you know, just, it's kind of hard to use sometimes, uh, but if you go from the center, it'll go from the center outward. So if you need to make a box just a little bit bigger, let me get back to the rectangle and then you could skew it. And, but you could skew it from, this is almost like the rotation of the angle. Um, it's a little bit better, but you can scale it, skew it from the center, but your, you know, your hand still has to, your mouse movement but you can kind of see in live uh, operation what it's doing. But if we go to Windows, Dockers, and Transform or Transformation, you can do all that up here. And you can, but you can do it with numbers. You know, if we want to rotate it 45 degrees, we rotate it 45 degrees. If you want to scale or mirror it, um, you know, from there, and go like 50%, it'll scale at 50%. If you want to go in like, well, that scale and mirror uh, size, which is the scale, basically, you know, you can, uh, well, don't really have to do it. You do it with numbers. You can make it proportionate. So if we want to make it 10, it'll make it 10 by 10. No difference than then changing it up here. And you can make it, you know, 10 by 10 off that, let's make it 20 by 10 off that one spot. Let's do that again. So if we go from the center and go 20, 20, it'll make it from the center. If you go from here and make it 20, 20, it changes it from that spot. It doesn't increase. Let me put a indexing line right here. Let me go ahead and put an indexing line right in the center of it. Now let's do the same thing. I just need to get the regular pick tool back. So we're going to scale it from here and we're going to make it 20. It's changing it from that spot. Just like this, if you put it here, it's going to change it from. Puts it from that spot. So it's where, and so if you want it from the center, you just put it in the center. If you want it to grow 20 by 20 and be proportionate. And then the other thing is the skew, which works a lot better because you can skew it with numbers. You know, you can type it in and hit apply. It's, uh, you can do it by hand and you can do it without any of this open. You can always skew by double clicking and getting your skew. But this is a little bit different. Um, so that I just show off the free, uh, free transformation. Now the rotation can be nice because you can go from that angle and you know rotate something if you want to look at it. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.